Hey guys, what is up? Is it recording? Yes, I gotta turn my microphone down a little bit though. Anyways, what is up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and we're gonna be doing some interesting things this episode. So not only are we going to try to start making the outside, and uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna make a like a hallway or something with rooms, and the rooms you can actually collect stuff like items from um, drawers, dressers, and stuff like that. But I also want to make a really cool little mini map system. Um. It's going to be kind of interesting, to say the least. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make the background black and this map as well. So um, we're going to start with the player's room. But you know what? We shouldn't even do this until after we've uh, already got all the maps. So anyways, I did not... I didn't... Um, I didn't organize this. The hallway goes in there. The player's room goes in the living room. So now it's all... Um, in the living room so we're gonna make a new map call it hall wait hallway two and I'm just gonna have like two rooms display name doesn't matter make sure it's interior the width is uh, width and height is 17 by 13 and yeah let's go so it's, I'm just gonna kind of copy well you know how this goes copy all the uh, tiles that I need from here would be fine kind of put them right here so we can start designing okay so we enter in through here it'll be right here okay I just had to get the base point on where we enter at and stuff like that so the the entrance to the doors are gonna be right here and right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a wall here and a wall here those are pretty much the only walls that we actually need we're just going to kind of do this, like so, like that. But uh, we're not completely done. I mean, I'm going to kind of end it off like right here. And there's going to be um, a light right here for like a window or something. Ow. Freaking keep biting my tongue. It's really sore. It sucks. Anyways. So, yeah, let's, let's kind of do that real quick. Let's actually get rid of the shadows. There we go. And go to the GIMP. Oops, well, you gotta press print screen first. Print screen. Paint. Or paste, not paint. You use the cropping tool, as usual. You know, I probably should have skipped through this boring part. And I'm sorry if you guys think this is boring. I'm sorry. Anyways, enough randomness. Oh, yeah, we gotta paint it black first. And Decrease it to about right there, be fine. Uh, actually, decrease it a little bit more. Unselect by holding control again. Unselect that. Unselect all the top of the roof part. Well, you know how this goes by now. Right click, feather by 25, or yeah, 25. Delete maybe once or twice. Make it a little bit more noticeable. Alright, now uncheck that. And we have our hallway too. I'm going to VX Ace. Oops, power game. Graphics. Pictures. And yeah. So now we've um progressing actually a lot faster than I thought. Maybe it's because we don't have to have much detail. So I'm going to copy one of these. And place it in the corner or something. And make it hallway two. Yeah, that seems about the same darkness. Well, the hallway is a little bit darker, but hey, it's fine. I mean, it's really gonna be completely almost unnoticeable. So, should be good. Should be good. Um, let's add a teleport event. Transfer to the living room. Here we go. Sorry, I'm not like talking as energetic as usual. Um, I bit my tongue. And it's incredibly sore, and it's like really hard to talk. Um, transfer, but you know I gotta record, so go. Now let's test that out. You know, we could just place a starting point there. Yeah, we got a save point. So it's all good in the hood. Yeah, looks pretty all right. I like it pretty darn. It's pretty cool. I like it. 
Now I'm gonna add two more rooms. Um, living room. We're gonna do room two. Wait, room one actually, because we already have player's room as its own name, so we don't have to worry about organization and all that. Um, interior. You know the drill. Just gonna kind of copy what we need. And we gotta find out where we enter from, which is right here. Okay, so we enter from right there. I'm just gonna kind of start it off with a big square until I get the basic idea of what I want to design. Just gonna get rid of that. Okay, so we're gonna kind of go like this. I wonder if that would look. No, no, let's do uh, well, let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, it don't look too bad. Hmm. Maybe have like a bed right here or something. Or no, not even a bed. Make this like a, an area of books or something. And have a table down there. Yeah, that kind of table would be good there. Let's see. Then you could have something like what was that? Maybe another table here with stuff on it. And plus some books. Definitely want some books. You know what? Pencil tool. Hmm. And actually one dresser right here. Well, I don't even look. Hold on. Oh, the dresser's over here, actually. Yeah. And everybody loves barrels, but, you know, I don't think a barrel would be too fitting here. So let's have some stuff on the, uh, maybe like an open book here. Uh, something over here. Maybe, uh, Maybe like a, a necklace or something. That doesn't even fit there, though. Let's try... Yeah, because that makes perfect sense. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, but it's... You're coming in from the side, though. Huh. What can we put here? Well, gifts will be really random. Teddy bear will be random. Hmm. A bag. There's a bag on there. Cheerio. Sure. Actually, you know what? Let's put a flower in there. I know we already put a bunch of those, but, you know actually put a box like right there on that one anyways so now we're done with this room so we're gonna be painting it black anyways my idea was I want to add a mini map system and I'll show you guys how to do that it's gonna be kind of cool it's gonna be kind of cool well that looks interesting that gave me an idea let's try this one huh and there went that idea but anyways, so let's make a transfer event. Transfer to the hallway. Right back in the middle. And then we go to hallway two, make a transfer event to room one. Like a boss. Now we're gonna make one more room. It's gonna be room two, obviously. Room who? Room two. What? What am I saying? Uh, make an interior. Copy the same materials we need, which we're probably if we can. Okay. What? No, not paint, man. <laughs> Alright, so where's the enter from? Here. Alright. Now, let's kind of. Again, start off with a big blocked out room until we know exactly what we're dealing with make sure you have enough room for uh, that alrighty maybe an idea yeah 
Yeah, okay, yeah, I got a pretty good idea for this room. Hmm, maybe one No, let's get like that. Let's get rid of the shadows first. Okay. So, um... Yeah, it looks alright. It's different. I'll give it that. It is definitely different. I'm gonna add, like, maybe... Kind of different look to it. What? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of too, uh... They shouldn't be too close to each other like that. Actually, you know what? A wall a wall dresser would probably not be that bad. Doesn't even look no. I mean, it looks great. Um hmm. Now let's have a table or something with stuff on it, because everybody loves tables. And where is it? Can have a let's have a pretty nice sized bed here. Even though it doesn't really match too well, because, well, it doesn't match. Because, <laughs> you know, why would you have your the head of your bed facing the opposite direction of the window? Who knows? But, unfortunately, RPG Maker doesn't um, have those kind of beds yet. And I'm really, really, really thinking about a different tile set. Like, somebody um, said that I can request a tile set on the RPG Maker forums, which I might actually do that. What was I going to do? Oh, that's right, I was going to set, um, flower here. One of these things there, and something else. A teddy, why not? And, oh, you know what else we didn't add in this one is windows. My gosh. That doesn't make too much sense, does it? Yeah, yeah, I guess it would. Kind of. Yeah, this one will at least. Maybe have a window here. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna look a lot better. And actually, go to uh, go to B, and we can. Here it is. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad right there. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with it. That's so much better. Um, anyways, room two. Gotta add some windows up on here. So this one's actually going to be closed. It doesn't. It doesn't look too good. Like when you have the window actually, like on a corner or something. It just doesn't look right. And plus, it doesn't really make much sense for a window to be where the other hallway would be, unless there's like a big opening. So we actually not going to have windows on this side of the wall. They're all going to be on this side. So kind of make it look a little less. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, okay, paint it black. Save. Now make the teleport event. Transfer back to the hallway. Right back to the middle. <laughs> Go to the hallway. Make the transfer to room two. Right here. See, the thing is, like with room one we can have windows here because there's nothing else part there's no other part of the house that's actually there and uh you'll see what i mean when we make the mini map so let's go ahead and uh control or print screen delete this layer actually no don't even delete it just print screen over this one what right here and i'm gonna be kind of dragging it to the top pixel over here like so and i'm going to be doing the lighting for this room and the other one and i'll pause it so you guys don't have to watch that i'll be right back <coughs> all right guys i am almost done there we go let me export this one it's room two so i have both the rooms uh done all right did i press on yes i did I'm making sure <laughs> all righty so let's go ahead and copy the hallway thing and display these lights room one at the corner 
here. Copy that. Paste that in the corner. Room two. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that seems like. If that makes English sense. Yes, it should. <clears throat> It's all right. The lighting thing is like one of my favorite things you can do with Arcade Maker. It's just awesome. Oh, I had the wrong game stuck in my head. By the way, I might be getting different uh, music to play. And yeah, so, so far it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna want to obtain items from um, the, these dressers. First, we're going to have to make a new item. So we're going to be making, I don't know, actually just replace potion with something that you could use. Um, actually, no, let's just start with money in the, in the, um, I don't know what you would do with the money, though. Hmm. You know what? Let's make a water. And let's um, make everything pretty much usable in the game. Oh, you don't say. I mean, like, for something important. Like, each thing has something where you can use it at a different place. Since we're not really going to be having so much as HP and stuff like that. We might. I don't know. Like, I might consider having HP in a different style of um, battle. But we're not going to have, like, the traditional RPG battle system. It's going to be... You're going to be being chased by ghosts and other creatures and stuff and you gotta lay traps and that's what I'm gonna try to get at in the future so there's water wait what was the other one that kind of looks no it's like a green like boomer bile or something anyways water um a bottle of water maybe you have to use the water or something to make it a key item consume no wait uh, yeah no Occasion, only from the menu, none, no scope. And maybe, like, you have to use the water on a fire later or something. We'll go with that. Anyways, action button. Oh, uh, make sure it's on the, the same as characters. You, wait, you found a water bottle. Let's make it a dim background and in the center. Wait, you found a bottle of water. Let's make it a capital because it's an item. And change items to water. Increase by one. And cell switch A is on. New event, cell switch A, and bam. So now whenever you check uh, the water, whenever you check the dresser. You know, um, I'll actually have to cover the minimap tutorial in the next episode. But it's going to be kind of cool. So now whenever you look in the... Um, Thing. You found a bottle of water, but you can't do it again. See? The item, a bottle of water. But notice how you can still use it. Uh, I do have, I do have a way of changing that actually. If you want to change it where you can't use it, and you want to use it later on, like only when you're on a certain block, you can do that. But it's a lot harder. So press Control C. Or right click and click copy and then paste it over the high potion um, this one is we're not going to change the one we just pasted but the one that we're that we gain the one that we actually pick up consume no and never use it well um, pretty much what um, what we're gonna be doing later if we do the fire thing will be we're gonna actually temporarily replace the bottle of water you can't use with a bottle of water you can use it's gonna be pretty interesting. It's gonna be slightly tricky, but we'll 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 get to it. So thank you guys for watching this episode and I'll see you later.